fun. We are the one. Fruit for chocolatey. Some kids fun fruit. I want fruit loops. Give me pizza. What you want is what you get. I want to eat it. I want it. I want it. Oh, oh, really colorful fruit roll-up. Mom, please buy this. I'll pay you back. Please. You gotta have it. Gotta have it. I'm gonna be I'll drink anything if I could black like Michael Jordan. Can't get enough of that golden drink. Can't get enough golden drink. I know I shouldn't eat it, but I really, really want it. <laughs> please, 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 please buy me that. Please. <laughs> I'm Jim Fife, and this is a show about food commercials and how they can persuade you to eat, drink, and buy the things you do. Now, when you go shopping or say to your mom or dad, feed me, I'm hungry, buy me that, you may not be getting exactly what you think you are. Food commercials can make anything look delicious or sound really healthy, and they can also make you think that their product is the best, that you have to have only that one brand, like Coke, or Pepsi? Pepsi or Coke? Which brand are you loyal to? Pepsi. I drink it. So should you. you gotta have it. Gotta have it. Can't beat the feeling. Can't beat the feeling. Coke and Pepsi are America's favorite and most advertised colas. But can anyone really tell the difference between them? Well, we wanted to find out. So we invited some devoted Coke and Pepsi drinkers to a challenge. The Cola Challenge. In the red shirts, these Coke fans love to guzzle that bubbling brown beverage. Coca-Cola. And in the blue, these Pepsi lovers are devoted to their drink. The one that says, you gotta have it. One, two, three, Pepsi! Pepsi-Cola. These cola lovers claim they'll be able to pick out their favorite brand just by taste alone, without seeing the label. I could definitely pick out the Coke because Pepsi, when you drink it, it has like a little tingling feeling in your throat and you can't drink that much at a time. And with Coke, I can just gulp it all down at once and I know that's Coke. I like Pepsi because it tastes sweeter and it's sweeter than Coke, so you can totally tell the difference. Can these kids really tell the difference between Coke and Pepsi? Could you? There's only one way to find out. A taste test. We poured Coke and Pepsi and a third brand, RC, to make it even tougher, into cups labeled X, Y, and Z. Our tasters will sip each of the three mystery colas and try to pick their favorite brand based on taste alone. The brand names are carefully covered the stage is set. Now let's watch as the tasting begins. We cleared the area so each of our cola tasters could fully concentrate on the challenge at hand. What Sean's doing between sips is cleansing his taste buds with water. While he makes his decision, let's take a look at the prediction he made just a few moments ago. Well, I think it's going to be a breeze because I, I drink Coke so much that, and I, I like it so much that, you know, it's just going to be so simple. I think this one's the Coke. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. They all taste the same. Now let's see how some of our other tasters fared. Mm, I have to do it one more time. Mm, not quite yet. This one is Pepsi. Oh, great. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> The final result, 
so stupid. half of the pepsi lovers we tested guessed wrong and what about the coca-cola fans we tested three out of four of them chose a different brand oh no <laughs> how did our tasters feel about the results i think i should be less picky about what i drink <laughs> since they all taste alike i mean you would have to like have totally perfect taste buds in order to taste the difference. I just think they taste the same now, and I don't care. So when you're loyal to a brand and you think only that brand is best, think again. It turns out that when we covered up the labels, most of the kids we tested couldn't tell these colas apart. And we tested 72 kids. <laughs> Can you guess what makes a can of cola so sweet? Just how much sweet stuff is in it? As much as three teaspoons of sugar? Five teaspoons? Or 10 teaspoons of sugar? The answer, a can of cola contains the equivalent of 10 teaspoons of sugar. That's the same as eating 38 jelly beans. And that's a lot of sugar with no real nutritional value. We just eat what we like. The thing tastes yeah. good. If it doesn't taste good, we don't want to eat it. If it tastes good, we eat it. Celery, carrots, healthy cereals. Um, maybe a bag of Doritos. Anything that my parents will make that's not fish, I'll like. Because I don't like fish. Sometimes she makes spinach, and I hate that. Blech. And zucchini. <laughs> We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. This just in. Two well-known products have allegedly been passing themselves off as wholesome fruit snacks. Today, a SWAT team of nutrition detectives swooped down on a local supermarket and picked up the two culprits, Gushers and Fruit Roll-Ups, who are attempting to impersonate real fruit. These fruit wannabes are known all over town from their brazen commercials. It's Gushers. You can bite through the chewy fruit snack outside and wet your mouth wow. with a gushing rush of fruity juice from the inside. <laughs> Notice how they talk about fruity juice in this commercial for Gushers. New Gushers. A gushing rush of fruit juicy fun. Gushers! You might get the idea that eating Gushers is as good for you as eating fruit. But it isn't, because a high-level investigation has revealed that Gushers have about as much protein, vitamins, and other healthy stuff as a roll of lifesavers. And just what's going on here in this commercial for fruit roll-ups? I take fruity colors that are really bright and make them rumba left and right and turn them into really colorful fruit roll-ups like you've never seen. Orange, yellow, and green! What, what? Did you notice those dancing oranges, lemons, pears, and bananas? Makes you think there's a lot of fruit in fruit roll-ups, doesn't it? And the box says, new berry banana flavor. But we couldn't find berries or bananas in the ingredients listed on the label. We also checked out strawberry fruit roll-ups. And according to our sources, a strawberry fruit roll-up has the nutritional value of one-seventh of a real strawberry. Ever tried dividing a strawberry into seven pieces? Detective Seymour Brand is standing by on the scene with more on this story. What happened, Detective? Jim, a uh, package of fruit roll-ups was found in the fresh fruit section where we did not belong, uh, blatantly bonding with the berries. Uh, completely independently of that, a, a single package of gushers was uh, apprehended, arrested in the refrigerator area where he was quote unquote chilling with the juices. Both claimed that they were suffering from an acute identity crisis. In other words, they actually believed their own advertising. That is correct. Thank you, detective. According to nutritional authorities, eating gushers, fruit roll-ups, or other so-called fruit snacks is like eating candy. Buyers are advised to be aware of the true character of these products before taking them home. Don't confuse them with real fruit. Now, back to our program. Ha, 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 ha.